Nigel Farage has launched an extraordinary attack on the royal family by accusing Prince Harry of falling off a cliff when he met Meghan Markle and describing the late Queen Mother as overweight. Brexit party leader Nigel Farage did not hold back when he launched a tirade of abuse against Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, deriding them as irrelevant. Prince Charles was also in the firing line as he ridiculed him for his environmental campaigns and said he hoped the Queen would reign for a very, very long time so as not to be replaced by her oldest son. Mr. Farage heaped praise on the Queen, describing her as an amazing, awe-inspiring woman we're bloody lucky to have her. But he pulled no punches when it came to her son Prince Charles and the late Queen Mother, who he attacked as an overweight, chain-smoking gin drinker, according to The Guardian. During the fiery speech at Sydney's Conservative Political Action Conference, he said, when it comes to her son, when it comes to Charlie Boy and climate change, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Her mother, Her Royal Highness the Queen's mother was a slightly overweight, chain-smoking gin drinker who lived to 101 years old. All I can say is Charlie Boy is now in his 70s, may the Queen live a very, very long time. Mr. Farage said he hoped Prince William lived for longer to stop his younger brother, Prince Harry, ever becoming king. This is despite Prince Harry being sixth in line to the British throne, behind Prince William's three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. He said, well, if I want the Queen to live a long time to stop Charlie Boy becoming king, I want Charlie Boy to live even longer and William to live forever to stop Harry becoming king. Terrifying. Here was Harry, here he was this young, brave, boisterous, all male, getting into trouble, turning up at stag parties inappropriately dressed, drinking too much and causing all sorts of mayhem. And then, a brave British officer who did his bit in Afghanistan. He was the most popular royal of a younger generation that we've seen for 100 years. And then he met Meghan Markle, and it's fallen off a cliff. Prince Harry, earlier this month, revealed his plans to have two kids, maximum with his wife Meghan in a bid to help save the planet. During a Q&A with conservationist Jane Goodall, he said, I think, weirdly, because of the people that I've met and the places that I've been fortunate enough to go to, I've always had a connection and a love for nature. I view it differently now, without question. I've always wanted to try and ensure that, even before having a child and hoping to have children. To which Dr. Goodall interrupted saying she hoped the Duke and Duchess would not have not too many kids. Prince Harry replied, two, maximum. But Mr. Farage blasted the decision, saying Prince Harry became the Prince of Wokeness when he married Meghan, according to Australian media reports. He added, we've been told in the last week that Meghan and Harry will only have two children. We're all completely ignoring, the real problem the Earth faces, and that is the fact the population of the globe is exploding but no one dares talk about it, no one dares deal with it, and whether Prince Harry has two kids is irrelevant given there are now 2.6 billion Chinese and Indians on this earth. This is not the first time the former Yukup leader has attacked Prince Charles. In 2008 he criticized the future king's advisors as naive and foolish at best after Prince Charles delivered a speech on climate change. He said, MEPS gave the heir to the throne a standing ovation after that speech, in which he declared that in 10 years time we would have no polar ice caps left. Well, that's seven years ago and I haven't seen any polar bears drifting down the Thames clinging to life rafts. Nor did I join in the standing ovation at the time, as I did not agree with what the prince said. I also do not think it is appropriate for the heir to a constitutional monarchy to want to take power away from his mother's government.